welcome back to the third session of the day now fine we are in the place fine go there we are now in the process of creating a legal address now fine click on it and go there i will now go on and share my screen so before we create the legal address what happens the first session i have not what happens is saved it actually I mean, let me save the first session the second session also has not got saved now fine i will not go there i will now first of all save my first session fine it has now got converted into mp4 now fine go there click on it i will now go down now i will now drop down <clears throat> Here, I will now open the Fusion Procurement Records and then I will now open up my, what happens, the Procurement Classroom Records and then click on OK. Now, I'm now getting saved now. So, this will be the second one. Now, if I go there, right click on that, what happens, rename it now. I will now say 02. I will now say it's an ERP overview. Fine. The third session, I have to convert it now. Fine. It has got saved somewhere else. Now, fine. I will be uploading all the three sessions at, at after 9.30. This is already there. So, it's 234. I will be uploading it after 9.30. The third one is there, but it is now uh, lying somewhere else. I have to do it. Now. I'll be uploading it later. So let us now continue our activity on what the legal address creation of the legal address. The tenth step I'm in now. So we go there. So we are given a tab, and then it was uh, what was, uh, it was blinking like anything. Now find that. Now go to the place and then see this. Now. <clears throat> Where is that area? <clears throat> this is the one. So you go to the manage legal address. <coughs> now all these things are come now. <coughs> when I give a tap, one zero zero two zero. When all these things are coming, go there. I will not choose the appropriate one. I will now again put what one zero zero two zero, and then I make a search. Now, fine, click on search. It will now give you this one. So I will not choose one of them. Fine, click on OK. Now. So give OK, fine, choose it, and then what happens? The city, state, county, and then everything has got populated. The time zone, what happens? You go there, and then make it as what Eastern time zone. Now. US, you are not working on it. Go there. So we will not make it as what? US Eastern. That's it. And click on OK. By which what happens? My legal address is now getting created. And remember, everybody is using on US. And then so sometimes what happens? Your address may not even come while you're getting LE. So this legal location will be associated to LE actually. Legal ND. Right. If it doesn't come, you don't worry at all. And click on OK now. If it doesn't come, and go that corner. It is now come in the bottom. What happens? You know, given in the plus, we are given everything. It is now appearing on the bottom. And then go to the top, right top, and then click on save and close now. In the right top, what happens? You go on and save and close by which whatever the legal address gets created. Any doubts? <clears throat> Good. Fine. You understood it. That's great now. And click on it. So the legal address is now created. Thank you. So next is what? The legal entity creation. The legal entity is the heart of our structure now. Fine. So the legal entity, the 11th step is what? Legal entity. You go to the task name, fine. Take a copy of it. And then we will now create a legal entity over there now. Fine. Click on it. You now paste it now. Fine. Enter it now. <clears throat> Are you hearing me? Is it clear? Can, can somebody hear this to me? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yes, okay. yes. So yes. manage legal entity and then click on the hyperlink on the manage legal entity. I'm going to create it now. Go there, click on it. I'm not going to create it. This is the heart of a structure, remember. Fine. T01 underscore legal underscore entity. I am now writing everything in small only for my own convenience. In reality, what happens? It must be cap small combination, actually. So I am now writing everything in small only for my convenience, actually. Right? But in reality, you have to talk to cli client and then say exactly whether it is a cap small, whatever way they want the legal entity name. It is the reliance industries means what exactly you have to write in. So T01 and then what happens? I'll now go there. So T01 underscore legal underscore identifier. Hey Priya, uh, what is the meaning of this identifier? I don't know. She is a financial consultant actually. What is the meaning of the identifier? I don't know. So, go there. so click on the legal address and then here what happens? I put my T01 and then give a tap. When I give a tap, it's coming. So the place of registration is what? New York. So Priya is a financial consultant. She is already implementing the products or anything. What happens? You can ask. And then uh, I, when we, I was implementing it for a Kuwaiti company, fine. my team, which is sitting in Madras, what happens? They asked me to what happens? They create a legal entity like this because there is no HCM uh, license actually. So I was only creating everything. Now. So they asked me to put a tick mark on payroll as well as legal employee. Fine. If HCM is not implemented, what happens? They say these two are the preferable tick marks. Otherwise, they only will not create a legal entity. What enough fine? If HCM is not implemented, this is the preferable way of doing it. Otherwise, what happens if you talk to HCM team, there may be some changes now. I am not sure about it. Fine. They will not take it. Always, what happens, work under the guidelines of HCM <coughs> if that is not implemented actually. Go there. So in EAN number or TIN number is a unique identifier. I will not put my number. Fine. Go to the underscore one, two, three. So my put my three digit prefix and then go there. It is a unique identifier actually. <coughs> we have now completed the creation of legal entity. <coughs> Okay, fine, good. Right. So go there. So click on save and close by which what happens? The legal entity is ready now. So click on save and close. We have now completed the creation of a legal entity now. 
is not done now. Go there. You come to this page. Next, what I want to go there. Go to manage legal entity HCM information. This is a very important one. So this is required for employee creation, actually. This is required for employee creation. So you take a copy of the call ask, and then go there, and then paste it over here. Now, fine. Give it to now. Fine. It'll be coming. Somebody's mic is on. Fine. Go there. Mute everybody now. Mute all. I'm clicking mute all. So if you want, you can open up and then take. So go to the manage legal entity now. Fine. Click on it. So click on the hyperlink on the manage legal entity HCM information. Fine. Go there. Click on it. I will not query my legal entity. Fine. Go there. I will not easy to one. And then click on search on the right hand side. So click on the search on the right hand side, it will be coming fine. And then click on the hyperlink on the legal entity. So there's a hyperlink, what happens? You click on it. Hyperlink on the legal entity, I'm clicking on it. And then I am going to edit this information. So while editing it, there are two ways of editing it. Fine. You can correct it or you can update it actually. If you go there, I will not drop down the edit. Fine. You can correct it. Correcting is going to correct the existing record. Update is going to create a version of a record. The original, what happens, the record version will be kept as such, and then we'll be creating a new version actually. It is the same in EBS also. EBS also has the same concept of correct and update. Correct will be correcting the existing record. Update will not touch the existing record, but it will be creating a new version. Later on, we can see which, which employee has updated it actually. Right? It's preferable to go for update. Fine, click on update now. Edit update, I'm going to give. So it is now giving you all the action reasons and all fine. Nothing is coming, it doesn't matter. Fine, leave it as it. Fine, click on OK now. On this screen, leave alone the dates. Dates you allow the system to do now. Fine, click on OK now. So simply click on update, legal entity, and click on OK. Don't do anything at all on this table. Now, what happens? You go to the payroll statute. In this area, legal employer, don't touch it. If HCM is installed, they will not do everything on this area. If HCM is not licensed, you are now only implementing procurement. What happens? Don't do anything on this area on the legal employer. Fine. You go to the payroll statutory unit directly. Fine. Go to the payroll statutory unit directly. Go to the place. And then here you drop down and then choose a ready-made LDG now. Fine. Go there. So go there. So we are going to associate a LDG now. Fine. Click on search now. Fine. LDG we are going to associate. Fine. Go there. I will now say US. <clears throat> And then query for it. Now, fine, click on it. I will not query. What happens? You go there. I will not drop down. <clears throat> I will not click on search. Now, fine. I will not query for the US. Now, fine. So, US, I'm not going to query. US, I'm not going to query. Fine, click on search. So, this is the best one now. If this is not available, you choose anything. It doesn't matter. <clears throat> but this is the best one now. Because some uh, instances may not have the US legislative record. This LDG may not be available. Legislative record is known as LDG. Fine. If this is not available, choose anything. It doesn't matter. Okay, fine, go there. So this much is only required in this place. This is required for employee creation. If you don't associate a LDG to LE, fine, employees cannot be created. Please take a note now, fine. You have to create an employee, LE must be associated to LDG. Otherwise, employees cannot be created, remember. Fine, click on submit now. So you may not be able to take notes of each and everything I'm telling, but keep some, uh, some, some notes. And then when you run the second time, what happens? You take a elaborate notes on this. <clears throat> You while you're doing it on the second time, you will be practicing it, practicing it, and then taking notes. Now, fine. So, LDG is a must for LE, otherwise, what happens? The employee cannot be created. Fine, click on submit on the right hand side. So, go there. So, click on yes now. <clears throat> it is not submitted. Fine, go there. So, click on OK now. The request is submitted. Fine, click on yes now. And then click on done and then come out of it. And then re query it again. Fine, click on search again. You click on search and then again click on it and then see whether the LDG is associated or not. Fine, click on it. Click on it, click on the link. Now, what happens? You back to go back to legal employer and then come back here. Now. You click on the legal employer and then come back again to payroll statutory unit. Fine. You can now see the LDG there. If it is not there, go to edit and update and then again put it now. <clears throat> Ensure that LDG is associated on the second query now. Got it? Everybody can say yes to me. <clears throat> Hello? Yes. Good. Fine. Yes, yes. Got it. Got it. Now, fine. Click on the now. So, LE, LDG oh. is not clear. <clears throat> Nana, no, no, you said uh, correct it, right? Not edit. It. Correcting is existing records is getting corrected. Update is what will now create a version of a record. So we can understand which user has made update now. Update so what we should do? Update or correct? Update is the best one now. <clears throat> update so is the we best could one. have used correct as well. Correct, or to correct uh, this we record. can use the correct as well. But what happens? Only thing is what you will now lose about which employee is corrected now. Right? If five persons are corrected, the latest employee name will be, will be appearing on the record. Actually. It is for later. Yeah, what about the start date? Start date, leave it as such. Now, fine. Whatever date the system is recommending it, leave it as such. <clears throat> On the date spot, uh, talk to the CMO. Uh, as we have updated this record, from where to check that audit history update trail? That you can talk to technical. They will not take a report and give it to you. Know. Fine. How many people have changed the record? They will not make a report and then give it to you. Fine. It is a report making actually. There is no ready-made available utility in the system. 
in the front end we don't have any ready made availability but only through reports through the ba reporting we can take it now so click on the note it will complete it so this task is now completed Fine. nana one question tell me tell me you keep on saying this uh, if scm is not implemented or something yeah. uh, are we able to see the fields which are uh, only be applicable for scm module no 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 see i have implemented one supply chain for a koiti company actually where hcm is not implemented i did it exactly like this only whatever i am doing i am not doing it like this there is no hcm at all no my question is uh, when hcm is not there then can we see everything will be visible actually fine no field will be hidden actually <clears throat> Okay. Even if it is not licensed, one everything will be visible. Actually, each and every okay. visible. Only thing is, what happened? The functionality is lost. Actually, for example, if HCM is not there, I cannot promote an employee. I cannot sanction the leave. I cannot do the self performance appraisal. All those things I cannot do. All activities related to HCM I cannot do. Okay, okay. Those things cannot do. So go there. Next is thirteenth step. Now, fine, go there. So we are going to work on a three segmental chart of accounts. No, fine. They are going to work on a three segmental chart of accounts and go there. Go to the manage chart of accounts value sets. No, fine. <laughs> Take off of it. The thirteenth step I am in now. Go there. So go there. Go to this place. Fine. Paste it now. Fine. Click on manage chart of accounts value sets. So click on the hyperlink on the manage chart of accounts value sets and then I am going to create three chart of accounts. No, fine. Go there. Value sets I am going to create now. Click on plus now. So click on plus now. I will now go on and create my company value set. Fine. The company. Values. So, what is the company now? We go there and then have a look at it. Where is the other one? There is one more thing now. And this is a fusion enterprise actually. Mm -hmm. so there is one more thing. I think I might have closed it. I will now go to the fourth one now. Find that. So, the global enterprise structure I will now open. Mm -hmm. So, now what I was Reliance Petro is a company. Reliance Info is a company. Fine. Reliance Power is a company. So they're all company now. Fine. So we are having a company segment in our chart of accounts. Fine. Go there. So we are not going to configure this. Okay. Go there. Go there. So the company value set will be having all the company names now. Fine. Go there. So take a copy of it. Fine. Go there. And then put the description. Fine. Go there. And then the module will be general ledger. Now. Fine. Drop it down. The module you choose as general ledger. Now. Priya, are you there? Priya? <clears throat> she, she is an expert on this. Now. Fine. If I make a mistake, she will correct it actually. Anybody who is in from financials background, fine, please. What happens? Uh, come inside and then what happens? Uh, correct me wherever I'm making a mistake. So here, what happens? I have never done it, but I, my financial team was doing it, but I have seen it, but how they are doing it now. So validation day, what happens? They go there, go to the independent now. Make it as independent. So drop it down and then make it as a character. And then here, make it as a text now. Fine. This is a setup. So you have to make it now. So general ledger, independent character and text. Fine. I am now giving a two seg two value now. Fine. The length of this thing is two now. So the maximum length I am making it as a do, and then click on save and close by which what happens? My company value set is now created. And click on save and close by which what happens? The company value set. If you go there and then query find 301, go there. So click on search now, fine. Once when you search for it, it will be coming on there. Mm -hmm. So click on plus now, fine. I will now go there. And then we will now get the next one now. I will now go there. Department value set. 301 underscore. Department underscore value set 2 now. Fine. The value set 2. I will now take over it. And then put the description. Description module drop down. Since I have chosen general ledger, fine, it will be coming at the top. Thank you. It will be coming at the top. Fine. Otherwise, you have to choose them. Fine. Independent. And then here go there. Here, what happens is the character. <clears throat> and then here is the text now. Fine. Go there. It is going to be three characters in length now. And then click on save and close. The second value set is now created. If you give a search now, fine, it will be coming. And then I'm now going to get my ultimate value set. Fine. The third one. Fine. Click on plus now. So click on plus and then go there. I will now say T01. Fine. Always keep your prefixes. Uh, choose one of the prefixes like T01 or something like that. And then keep it everywhere. Fine. That prefix has to be used everywhere. Fine. Whatever prefixes you are initially designing it, that you have to use it everywhere. Now. Fine. I will now say account. <clears throat> account value set 3 now. Fine. So company, department, and account, I am doing it. In reality, what happens? They will now go for a six or seven segments actually. So go to the module. And then I will choose the general ledger. Fine. Go Valid name is independent. Go there. Come on. I will not choose it as a character. <clears throat> and then choose it as a text. And then here, I am going to keep it as a four characters. So it is a four character one. Fine. Click on seven close by which whatever is all the value sets which are required for my exercise is now ready. Nana sir, we need to check that zero fill also, right? Here. Zero fill and all, all these things you try now. Fine. There are so many things are there. So those other options are small, small options. You try and then see how they are all working. Fine. No. Options. In that way. It's not a must actually. It is not a must. Yeah. Fine. Not a must. If you want, you can do it now. So click on save and close. Whenever you have on the form, whatever the save and close, always save and close. Fine. Save and close. Whenever you have any save and close, please save and close. No? And then come out of it. 
Save and close is a must now. Man. Go there. So click on it. Now go to the place now. Man. Now go there. So now what happens? We are now created all the three. What happens? Values is company, department, and account. Now what happens? You go there. I will now create an accounting calendar. You don't take over it. We'll now go on and create our accounting calendar. Fourteenth step. I am in now. Go there. Account. I will now go to the place. Fine. Go there. I will now go there. Paste this task name. <clears throat> Enter it now. Fine. Manage accounting calendar. Fine. Enter it now. Fine. Go there. Account. I will now go and do it. So click on plus and then I'm going to get a calendar. Fine. Click on plus. Fine. I will now go there. I will now say what? T zero one. A C C T underscore cal. I am writing it everything small, but if you want, you can write in any fashion, whatever you feel like. So for simplicity, I am now writing everything in small now. In reality, it won't be fine. It will be real uh, name now. Fine, go there. Go there. Start date is what? M stroke D stroke Y now. Y Y now. Fine, go there. I will say one stroke one stroke twenty three. So first of January twenty three. Fine, go there. Leave it as such now. Fine, go there. And then do not give any user defined prefix. The separator is hyphen. Leave it as such now. Fine. The format leave it now. Fine. And then in this place, what I'm saying, adjusting period frequency is once at a year and fine. This will be taught in the financial training. Fine. Leave it as such now. Fine. Once at a year and so click on next now. So I have given name, description, the start date. Only three fields I have entered now. The remaining fields I have not touched at all. <coughs> Clear answer. This, so sorry to interrupt. This start date is not necessary to start. Uh, this is star mark. It is a must actually. If you don't give it, it will not work at all. Uh, no, no. I What I mean is uh, the list dates we were mentioning yeah. as. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now we cannot have any accounting on the 22nd year. 2022, we cannot have any accounting at all. Okay. So if you don't give it, what happens? The start date is 1, 2, 23, then 2021, 2020, what happens? We cannot have any accounting at all. So depending upon from what date you want to have the accounting, you have to put it. Let's say I have from one, one, 2015 onwards means for 15 years. <coughs> 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 one, So depending upon from which period you want to have the accounting, you have to give the start date now. Okay. Got it? Okay, so sir. Next now. Yeah. Period frequency, sir. What does it mean? It is a monthly, and then what about there are so many frequencies that are available here, quarterly, weekly, fine. And then in a financial training, they will not tell you a lot about the period frequency. Keep it as monthly. Do we need to use four, four, five, something or you monthly? talk to financials, they will tell you about which one they had to use for which calendar now. No, normally it is uh See, it all depends upon how the accounting is done in a company. Yeah. How the accounting is done, accordingly, the period frequency will be chosen. This is again a big topic in financials. It is not our topic. And so what happens? We make only minimal entries and then complete the financial section. So click on next on the right hand side. Fine. Click on the next on the right hand side. What happens? We go to the next one. The system automatically creates the complete one now. Fine. January 1 to 31. And then February, what happens? 2 to 28. Fine. So, 2023 is not a leap year. And so, what happens only up to 28. So, it will now populate everything, all the fields, including one last field as an adjustable field for one day now. Fine. It's only for one day from what happens, 31 told to 31 told to 23. It's a one day. Fine. It's an adjusting period. So, the system creates the calendar automatically. Now. The calendar is now getting created automatically. Fine. Click on save and close by which what happens, the calendar creation is now complete. Save and close will now create the calendar now. So now we have completed the calendar creation. So click on done. The next activity is a very big bottleneck one now. So it's what called manage chart of constructors. And remember, in an instance, only one person can work on it. If multiple people work on it, it will not work at all. It will not work at all. So go there. So you have to compete amongst you actually. 15th step is a very important one. And then here, only one person can work on it now. Otherwise, it will not fail actually. So you, it all depends on if you have taken it first, what happens? The other person cannot take it up. So whomsoever is taken up first, what happens? It will be working for you. Others will not work. So it's a very a critical one. And so what happens? The rush, rush, and then try to complete the 15th step. 15th step is a bottleneck step. Fine. It is for everybody actually. Fine. So go there. Go there. I will not put this one. Now. Enter it now. Manage chart of account structures. I'm going to do it now. So go there. So click on the hyperlink on the task. <clears throat> go there. And then here, what happens? You know, coming the search now. So we have got only one key flux fields in financials, which is configurable. So don't give anything here. Fine. Make a blank and then make a search now. Fine. Click on search. So on the search area, don't give anything and then give a search now on the right hand side. What happens? You'll be having one general ledger application for which what happens? We have a key flux field called accounting flux field. That is the only thing which will be coming. And then now you can see the deployment status is on now. Fine. Deployment status is on. <coughs> it's already deployed. Now, 
uh, if somebody is working, it will be off actually. When somebody starts to work, what happens? It will be off actually. So what happens? You have to see with the uh, if you are seeing a green green tick mark, you are lucky actually. <laughs> and then uh, it will land up in error. Some or other, you complete it. Define is very very important. So click on the manage structures. So the first activity is what manage structures. Fine, click on it. And then here, what happens? I click on plus one. Fine. Go to the manage structures and click on plus one. I'm not going to get a structure actually. Accounting structure, I'm going to create. So go there. T zero one underscore str. I'm not putting it as a structure. Str is a structure. And take off it. So my prefix is always there on every entity actually. And click on it. And then paste it now. And then click on the paste. Now. So T zero one, I have chosen it. Whatever you have chosen, I do it now. And the delimiter must be chosen now. Otherwise, you cannot save now. If you try to give a save, whatever, the delimiter is not gone. Fine. Drop it on. I will not choose a hyphen. The delimiter has been chosen as I1 and then I will give a save. So the ones who any give a save, the segments can be created only upon saving the header actually. So once when the header is saved, then the segments can be created, the plus symbol is becoming. So the header minus, fine. click on save and then you can see the plus symbol is coming. Now I'm not going to create the three segments now, fine. Company segment, the department segment and then the accounting segment I'm going to create. So click on plus now. So click on plus. <clears throat> Yeah, don't make any mistake at all. If you make a mistake, what happens? You have to redo again. No, fine. It's very difficult. Some of the things cannot be changed at all. Fine. So some of things cannot be changed. So please don't any no, don't make any mistake at all while doing it now. Fine. T01. See exactly how I'm doing it now. Fine. Underscore <coughs> company. And then don't give any extra space. <coughs> One of my students has <coughs> given extra space in the production instance. You know how difficult it was now. Fine. So very difficult. So don't give any extra space at all. In the production instance, you gave it and then it was not working properly. Fine. You are crying like anything. So take off it and then click on the APA name. You have taken a copy of it and then click on the APA name. APA name, the system will be doing it now. Fine. The system will be creating the APA name automatically. Fine. Click on it. Do not fiddle on that now. The system creates it. It is now removed the underscore and then what happens? The C has been made as a capital C and leave it as such. Let the system recommend any APA name. It is a unique identifier for the segment code actually. Fine. Do not do anything at all. Fine. Leave it as such. Fine. Click on it and then leave it. Then click on the name and then paste it. The APA name, people have fiddled around and then they have they had big problems with it. Do not change anything at all. It is for the internal, what about the reference for the segment code now? And click on the description and then paste it now. And then sequence number is one. And then prompt you paste it. And then short prompt also you paste it. Display width is 20 characters. Do not put any range type. Range type must be blank actually. The range type is blank. Column you drop down and then choose the segment one now. And then we have a value set of the company. Fine. If you go there and then put T01 and then give it a tab, it will not come. So this is not a tabable field, actually. Drop it down and then make a search now. In the bottom so one. So display one. width should be two, no? Because uh, we have to is value okay. set. No, no. Oh. 20 is okay. Display width 20 is a very good one. Even though what happened, the company is having only two characters and things, no fine. But yeah. the description may be way, no fine. It is a reliance power in the description. The company code may be 01, but the description may be reliance power or something like that. So it is preferable to have a 20 character width. So click on search now. Right? Click on search, and then go there. You will not. You go there, and then go there. I will not choose the company value set. Go there. Click on the company value set, and then here whatever they go there, and then click on OK now. So we are now given the value set for this now, right? and then here what happened? The segment label is known as what flux field qualifiers. This is known as a flux field qualifier. Right? Go there. So here I will now make it as a primary balancing. Right? Drop it down, and then choose the primary balancing. <clears throat> primary balancing segment. Fine. Right? Bring it to the right hand side. So primary balancing is the flux field qualifier, which is known as a segment label action. So the first segment is created. Please don't make any mistake at all. People have made a mistake and then they had it now. It's a very difficult one. Do not do any other mistake at all. Do, do it very cautiously. The way in which I'm doing it, exactly do as well now. So the first segment is the primary balancing segment. Any doubts? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, no other uh, label should be selected. Only one should be selected. Is it? No, uh, it can so... be multiple labels also. Fine. Yeah, particular segment have multiple labels also, but that will be taught in the financials. <clears throat> the financials will not teach you about how what happens, how many labels can be selected against particular one of a segment. Fine. A segment can be qualified for multiple also. <clears throat> but we are not doing it. For the procurement, this is sufficient. <clears throat> so click on seven close by which what happens, my first company is now ready. So click on plus, I will now make the department segment now. Fine. Click on it. Plus, I will now make the department segment. Fine. So T01 underscore department. Fine. I'm not writing it now. I will not take over it. No extra space because extra space, we had a problem now. Fine. Click on the APA name. Fine. Click on the name. And then paste it. And then click on the description. Fine. Paste it now. This is the second one. <laughs> click on the prompt. Paste it. And go there. Short prompt also is printed. Display with this 20 characters now. Fine. And then column type is segment 2 now. Fine. They here. 
first time you give one take one the next segment to know drop it down and then click on search now search and then t01 my prefix is t01 fine click on search now it will be coming up right is a department one fine. select it and then click on okay in an order so the department is a cost center actually select it then whatever you choose it and then click on the arrow mark it will be coming on the right hand side I choose it and then we'll be coming on the error button. Save and close by which one of the second one is now ready. Fine, click on save and close. No done. I will not make the final one. Fine, click on the final one. I will not say the T01. Let's go. Accounting segment, actually. I will not make it the accounting segment. I take off of it. Then I click on the APN. Then I click on the name now. Click on the description. And then there's the third one. And then paste in the prompt. Fine. Paste in the short prompt. And then display with this 20 character. And then column name. What I can drop it down. And then choose the segment three now. <clears throat> so here, right, go on and then make a search. Now click on search. And then T01 is the one. And then click on search. Now click on search. Click on and then I will not choose the accounting. And then click on OK. So I will be making it as what? The natural accounting segment. Right? The natural accounting segment. <clears throat> so a chart of accounts. This is basically a chart of accounts. It must have three segmental ones. One is what? Primary balancing, one cost center, and then one natural accounting. There may be even multiple segments which are having whatever the, the company one, other things are not. Uh, that will be taught in the financials. But you need at least the basic three now. Right? One primary, one cost center, and then one natural accounting is required for creating one chart of accounts actually. So we are now working only on the minimum, bare minimum. So in reality, what happens? It will be six or seven segments actually. Any doubts on this now? <coughs> Don't make any mistake again and again telling you. If you make a mistake, what happens? You had to again redo with some other number actually. So click on save and close. It is not done. So my key flux field, my managed structures is now completed for me this month. So click on save and close. It's all done now. Click on save and close. So your managed structure, if you go and then query the structure name, find whether T01 and then click on search now, find it will be showing you in the list of values. It will not show the list of values. So click on done and then come out of it now. So managed structure is now completed. <clears throat> yeah, tell me. Somebody was asking something. Tell me. Tell me. Sir, we have not selected any uh, accounts from list of values. List of values is it to come now? Fine. We are it to come to the list of values at all. I mean, uh, like a natural account, uh, primary account. No, 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 no. <clears throat> Nothing will be there. Uh, for now, the is we are not selected. If you for go there, segment, we have not selected anything. One second. T01. And then click on search now. Fine, click on search. Go there. Click on edit now. Fine, I'm editing it. So go there. Which one are you telling about? You go there. Huh? Accounting. Accounting. Accounting segment. Fine, click on edit now. Fine. What else you need now? This case. Oh, okay. Natural accounting I selected. I got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Without a label, I will never leave at all. Fine. Everything mm -hmm. must be having a label. The three segment, I, I told you now, fine. One primary segment, one cost center, and then one natural accounting is a must actually in your own. One, one segment. Thank you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Cancel now. Cancel. You must have this thing now. Fine. These are three ones which are required now. Fine. I'm not doing only the bare minimum actually. You go to the managed structure instances. After having created the structure, I go to the managed structure instances. <coughs> so click on plus now. So now here, what happens? I will not say T01. This is known as a chart of accounts. The instance is known as a chart of accounts. Fine. Underscore, I will not put a COA. The instance is known as a chart of accounts. Fine. Take off of it. Yes. <laughs> click on the AP name. It will be coming automatically. Click on the name now. Fine. Paste it. Click on the description. Paste it now. Fine. Go there. And then. Nana sir, one second. Huh? Nana sir, one second. Yes. Most of the people will try to change the AP name. I request no one not to change that because yeah. if you change that, chart of account will not be created, and you you cannot do anything transaction. Who is this? Who is this? Satish here. Satish is saying that please don't modify any AP name recommended by the system. Actually, if you do it, what happens? He is saying it will be having a very big repercussions. Fine. Don't do anything at all. Fine. So Satish is saying, please don't. You are a financial guy, na? Satish? You are having a background of finance? No, or? no, I am from manufacturing side. Oh, I am manufacturing. from manufacturing. Okay, fine. Anyhow, he is giving you a note that please don't change AP name at all. <clears throat> please remember. Fine. Anybody has actually, got AP, uh, No, no, sir. Uh, AP names are used when we call through a REST API, actually. When you want to modify this, when you want to populate this DFF or KFF, right? Yeah. yeah. When you are doing the REST and then the post, uh, postal service, the post, no, one more postman services, what happens? They will be using this APAs actually. Yeah. So the technical activity. And then again, yeah. when you click on the front end, please don't touch anything, change at all. <laughs> it is enabled and then dynamic combinations are already there. Fine. These two tick marks are there. Drop down and then choose yours now. Fine. Go there. So mine is what? I will not press T plus T. It will be coming on this one. Go down. 
So it's in the bottom of the thing. So when I choose yours now. So once when you choose your structure, all the things are coming up now. And remember, when you're working on the other instances, if this is filled now, fine, you don't have any search button now here. So if yours is not coming, what you do is you begin your what happens a structure name with the, what happens some zero one or something like that. So that what happens it will be coming on the top actually. If your uh, what happens your structure is not coming in the list of values here, what happens you create another structure only for what happens appearing on this place now. Right? So let us say zero zero one underscore what happens a nana structure like that. What happens you create? Uh, got it now, fine. Right? So if this is not appearing on the list of values because we don't have any search button here at all, because so many guys are working on it on these instances. So the whole thing would have been filled actually. It may not even go beyond certain things. If that is the case, what happens? You had to again create it with 001 underscore Nana structure or Krishna structure or whatever it is. If it's starting on zero, it will be appearing at the top now. See, the first one is not, I'm not showing you what, I'm not showing you the numerals now. Right? 101, 103, all these things are showing 99, like this. Morning. So if you're creating on 001 or something like that, it will be appearing on the top. So you can very well choose it. Are you clear? Anybody is having a doubt? Because we are working on a what happens a common uh, structure which is being or oh, instances which are used by many many actually. Now you choose the first one, and if you go to the left hand side and then what happens they click on it the line gets selected. Click on edit now and click on edit. In the edit what happens you put the required field and then click on OK now. Required is a must actually. Fine. It is a must actually. Fine. Click on OK. Now. <coughs> required is a must. And then similarly on the second one you click on it. You are selecting the department and then click on edit <coughs> and then put a tick mark on this. One. All the financial guys, if you have any extra inputs, please tell me now. Fine. So tell the group. Fine. So the, the third one, the required is not input. Fine. I will not choose the external left and go there. So click on edit now. Fine. Click on edit. And then I will not put the required tick mark. And then click on OK, which whatever all the three are required actually. So this is the only activity you are doing in the flux, flux structure instance actually, apart from giving the names actually. Fine. And then choosing a structure on the way. So complete it. Fine. The instance of a structure is now ready. So click on save and close. Fine, it is not done. And then if you go and then query yours, now fine. You are three letter prefix. Fine. You choose anything, whatever you want. You stick to it till the end. Now fine. Click on it. Fine. Click on search. It is not coming. None of one question. So it means we can create multiple instances for one chart to come. Exactly. This is an enhancement when compared to is actually. We can have multiple instances of uh, this thing. Now fine. In fact, what happens? I attended this training in uh, Redwood Shows, California. When I was an Oracle employee, they were explaining a lot on this. It was going like a bouncer to me. <laughs> I couldn't understand anything at all. Right? Because I was asked to sit on the financials also, but I couldn't understand it. So we can have multiple instances for a chart of accounts. <clears throat> I had this procurement training only in, uh, what happens, in, uh, in the Redwood shows in California, actually. When I was an Oracle employee, I was sent for the train the trainer training, actually. Right? There I go. There and there. So click on done. I am an Oracle uh, headquarters trained employee. You know? <laughs> so click on done now. So having done the structures and then structure instances, finally we had to deploy it. So click on deploy. So go there, click on deploy. And if somebody else is also making it, and then if you deploy it, what happens? Let us say they are halfway. And then it will not pick up those values and then it will not fail actually. That is the biggest problem. And then you have to correct their problems and then again deploy it now. So this is a very sensitive one. Fine. <clears throat> click on deploy. I will not attach one video on how to correct the deployment errors actually. And click on deploy. So click on deploy. Fine. For me, there is no error at all because nobody else is working here now. <laughs> Otherwise, here itself it will not show an error now. I will now attach one uh, uh, what happens the video on deployment errors now. How to address the deployment errors actually? And then you try to correct it. And then if you are getting such a screen, that means what you have not made any mistake at all in your structure and structure instances actually. If this screen is coming, deployment is progress is coming means what it is through actually. So all the thirty six steps has to be getting completed. Or it will be getting completed. I will attach one video on how to what happens, uh, how to diagnose the what happens, uh, the deployment errors actually. And if you're getting it, you try to go through it with a very, very tedious process because when multiple people are jumping onto it, what happens, uh, it will be very difficult for you to get a tick mark like that. If this screen itself is coming, that means what you have succeeded. And after this, what happens if somebody has made a mistake on the managed instance of the structure, no problem at all. Yours is through. When you're getting it, what happens is not getting deployed. Your thing, whatever you have created as a COA is now already set in the system now. Afterwards, anybody who is making a mistake, you don't worry at all. You are already through. Now, is he 36 or 36 is not running? Not coming up. <laughs> so, Nana, in the, this instance will be getting used in the transactions. Eh? Instances, what is it? 
uh, this accounting structure instance. So ah. this instance value means this instance will be used in the transactions. Huh? Of course, of course. This COA will be used in the transaction. The chart of accounts which are now created now fine that will be used in the transaction. Yeah, the, the instance will be used. So ah, yeah. the, the, a, the primary thing a, will be there, but you should say instance not instance, it is a structure instance now. The structure instance will be used in the transaction actually. It is not an instance actually, right? It's an accounting uh, accounting structure instance actually. Yeah, the structure, the structure will remain as it is, but the instance yeah, yeah, yeah. Of the, the structure, structure will, will remain as it is, and then the instance only is going to be used. It is oh. called the instance of a structure actually. Very correct. Yeah. Yeah, so, I was referring so, to structure so, instance. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, tell me, tell me, yeah, tell me. Tell yeah. me. Yeah. So, I think, yeah. so I think now this structure instance will be linked to our BU, right? Yes. You, you are going to use this now, fine. It will be in link to not BU, but a primary ledger. Actually. Primary ledger. So, so basically, it will, is... to, it will be used in the primary ledger actually. When you're creating a primary ledger, what happens? You are going to use it now. We will be using this structure, this is structure instance in a primary ledger actually. You wait till what happens, even though that is completed, it is now internally doing something, and then it will now put a message that deployment completed successfully. You had to wait till now. <laughs> you got it. So, deployment completed successfully. Fine, go there, go on, click on OK. Now. Everybody will not be getting this now so easily. Fine. It will now take such a long time for you. You just struggle like anything. Now, fine. Afterwards, I'll be it. And then I will now attach one video about how to correct the what happens, the instance uh, deployment error. Right? Fine, click on OK. Now. now, you can see the deployment is now come. Otherwise, what I mean, you have to read this error message and then correct all the errors in the thing and then do it now. And remember, in the structure again, you, do, you must have one, what I mean, the primary segment, say, primary balancing segment, and then one cost accounting segment, cost accounting segment, and then one for natural accounting. Now. One cost center, then one natural accounting. So three segments is the must. If somebody has not made one of them, what happens? It will be erroring out. Got it now, fine? When somebody has not made it, it will be erroring. Hi, Nana. Tell me. Satish here. Yeah, Anna, actually, you have one Word document. If this error out, there is one Word document with you. Oh, I got so Can much. Share that. One second. You you know that fine. He has not seen one Word document. Now. Fine. Where is it now? Tell me. You go back. Yeah, yeah. Earlier, I seen that from your side only. <laughs> oh God. <clears throat> Even the I, last. What the, the last content I have now? <laughs> so Satish, if you find out the document, please tell me. We'll not show it to them. Now, fine. Wherever it is. <laughs> if you happen to load, note it down. Fine. Please tell us. Now. Because I even don't know what I have it actually. Fine. So much. It has been collected over the past eight years now. Fine. I even right. keep on collecting it and doing it now. Mm. It will be somewhere. Yeah. somewhere. So click on done. By so I will post it in the, I will post it in the WhatsApp group. If yeah, I yeah, yeah. You put it. Satish will now post it to the WhatsApp group. You can even attach it also. Fine. Attach it in the WhatsApp group. So that what happens is people can see the Word document regarding this. What happens is a very sensitive one. And then if you're getting a tick mark, you're really lucky. And then afterwards, what happens is nobody can stop you. This is a common area for everybody. And then there people are getting struck means what they have to correct. I will not put how to correct the errors also. I will not what happens. One video is there. I will not show you. Uh, but Nana, under the general ledger application, we can create a multiple key flex fields name. No, and no, no. We can... Only one key flex field is available for configuring by us. Uh, same for real scenario. Yeah, it's a real scenario. I'm not telling you. I did it like that. When I was implementing for quite, I, whatever my team, I am not doing it. My financial team was doing it. I was watching, sitting and watching it. This is all they are doing. Okay. Sir, after deployment, if someone plays with it, yeah, yours is not no problem at all. Yours is through. If someone yeah, so, played around and then do something, what happens? Yours is already deployed. Fine. There is no problem at all for you. Okay, so it will still work even if it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. Even if somebody is making a mistake, yours is already deployed. If the sounding step is successful, then you don't worry about others now. Fine. Others making a mistake will not trouble yours at all. Fine. Yours is set in the system actually. It is a deployed CVA is now set in the system actually. Got it now. Fine. Now we go for the 18th step. Now, fine. Click on the 18th step. So this uh, is the of bit of one now. 17th is a bit of one. If you are passing the 17th step, that is you are really great actually. You can go ahead and then do the balance steps very easily actually. You won't get it Nana, the tick mark like this. Yeah, because many people are also Nana, yeah, tell me. Nana, small correction. Hmm. If anybody goes and plays with that uh, chart of accounts, <laughs> if the structure is not deployed, GL won't work. It should be always no, no. the chart of accounts. Is deployed. You are now making what? Nayantara structure. Yep. He is now making some other structure. Fine. Okay. If he is working yes. only Aishwarya structure, Nayantara will not be getting affected at all. Yep. <laughs> because because every ledger should have one chart of what i mean is what they are doing something on their structure that is what we mean 
if they are making yes. some mistake and then they are unable to deploy us is already deployed and so us will never be getting affected at all that's what i mean to say they nobody will open up your structure now fine why they are going to open up they may not yeah, even actually, know the three letter prefix now fine you might have put s37 as your prefix now fine who will know it no no nobody will work uh, on one it. question no no one question yeah. actually this multiple instances like start of structures multiple instances yeah i mean uh, how does it play out like uh, yeah this year to talk to financials to... financials will tell you one structure with multiple instances fine how they are going to work upon so you have to talk to financials uh only doing a very question? bare minimum uh, what happens the financial sir sir we are not going uh, sir can i take this question yeah tell me tell me yeah tell me. yeah so basically let's say example i'll just give you a in um, like a pepsi pepsi is a group okay it has a lot of a lot of subsidiaries like pepsico india pepsico philippines pepsico france okay so there could be one uh, one chart of account uh, that would be corporate chart of account okay but for each country they might have different uh, chart of accounts okay but uh, let's say example that in india and philippines uh, uh, they want to use the same chart of account mm -hmm. so there what they can do they can use the same chart of account structure mm -hmm. and create two different instances Uh -huh. and then it should work okay so if the main structure is going to be same then we can even uh, create multiple instances on that and then uh, do it okay again what happens uh, discuss with the financials they will now give you more more and more clarity on this now fine now we are into the 18th step now i got to i will not go to the manage chart of accounts value six fine take out it now we are in the 18th step i got to point i will not paste this task name for that so click on enter now fine got to the manage chart of accounts value six fine uh nana no, no, one question here so uh, in deploy uh, uh, that uh, yeah. flex uh, flex sailed earlier mm -hmm. if we have created our uh, uh, this is structure and stance and barely someone has yeah. also created yeah. uh, many, many people will be creating yeah, so yeah. that deployment status does it mean is it for all or like yeah, yeah, uh, if one is in error it is, it is, uh, other two will be required actually. it is for all fine if you're doing it it will not take up everybody's value and then it will not deploy Okay, but uh, like if like uh, five six uh, uh, instances were created and uh, one is an error, other will be deployed, right? No, no, no. If even if one is a mistake, then everybody will be going in a mistake only. Yeah. Fine. So uh, you work and then you will understand it. Fine. So if you work. No, no, no. Another question. If my if someone is already created the structure successfully, if mine is failed, can we use the old other this one? Yeah, we will come to that. Fine. Tomorrow I will now. It's a good question. Now fine. I will now what happens. I will now come to that part tomorrow. Fine. Right? When all of you, when many of you will definitely fail actually. So in tomorrow's session, your what is your name now actually? You are asking beautiful questions actually. What is your name? Tell me because I am unable to see your name actually. Tell uh, me your name. Ravindr. No, no, the other guy who is having gara 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 on. So he is asking about the other is other people's instance. Other people's chart of accounts can be used. Tarak Kumar. Tarak Tarak. Tarak Kumar. Tarak na T A R A K Tarak na. Yeah. Tarak. So Tarak is asking a beautiful question. I will now address this question tomorrow. No, I will now address this question because everybody may not be able to succeed on the deployment. You will now land up an error. I am telling you because so multiple people simultaneously working. In reality, it will not be. It will be only one one team will be only working on it. But since everybody is now practicing it, so deployment may not be a successful thing. And then in which case, what happens? I will not tell you how to do that. No, can't do. <clears throat> Fine. Even if one of you deployed, seventeen step is completed. Please post on the group now. i have deployed it fine please post it we are going to use yours now fine others will be using yours actually <laughs> if anybody has deployed it please post in the group that others will be using yours now fine others will be using yours your 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 coe actually others are going to use your coe we can very well use now fine no problem at all fine <clears throat> you, because succeeding on the 17th step when multiple people are simultaneously working is very very difficult actually if any of you passes the 17th step please post in the group now fine deploy it fine my coe is deployed Fine, it will be great. Everybody will be using that. That's your way. Actually, now we'll not go to the space. Fine, go there. Go there. <coughs> so go there. So what I did is what I have gone to the task. Fine, click on the hyperlink of the task, and then let me query my chart of account. So that D zero one is the one. Zero one, and then what happens? Go there. So click on search. You'll be getting all the three ones. So select the company, and then click on the manage values now. So click on the manage values, and then I'm going to do it now. Click on plus. So company is a value. Fine. I will not say ten is a company. I will not say is there. Reliance Petro, no. Is the Reliance Petro? Fine, click on plus, no. Fine. I don't know that. Is the Lemon, is the one? <coughs> fine, is the Reliance Info? No. 
So for every company, we will be having a what happens? Your uh, profit and loss statement and balance sheet being created. So create that many companies as you're having below the main enterprise. Act. So go there. So give it and go there. Leave the remaining columns as such. You know, fine. Allow posting and allow budgeting must be on. No, fine. Leave it as such. And then do not do any other thing. Now. Click on save and close. My company values are now created. <coughs> I will not keep my customer in the department. I click on the department. So go there. So I will not go to the managed values. Go to the managed values. So click on customer. <coughs> I will not have 100 in the department. Of mine. Go there, 100 more. So I will not say it's a marketing department. The marketing department. So click on plus. No point. I will not say one not one. Fine. There's a service department. So likewise, whatever you'll be having a sales department, and then you'll be having plenty of departments in a company. Fine. Go there. So every company, every department, you, whatever you have it. Fine. Go on the So click on that. And then you go to the accounts. No point. Go to the accounts, and then click on the manage values. Fine. Select the accounts in the left hand side. Click on the manage values. No. We are going to create to begin with four values. No point. Click on plus. I will not say it's a thousand. It is an asset account. It's an asset account. Asset account. It's an asset account. So thousand is the one. Fine. Account type is the one you have to modify now. Fine. Drop it down. I will not make it as a do not touch any other field now. Do not touch any other field. So click on plus now. Fine. I will not make next value as what? One thousand one. One thousand one is a liability account. Liability means what? We have to pay now. The yeah. reconcile, is it not required to set as yes? Reconciliation is not a mandatory field, actually. Go there. Go there. So here, what happens is the liability. Liability. So do not touch anything now. Fine. Reconciliation, what happens is don't touch it because it is a financial activity. Fine. If you are not aware of it, don't touch anything at all. Fine. Financials will teach you about whether to set it up as what, yes or no. Fine. Because we are not going to do any accounting activity on these things now. Fine. That's why what happens, I'm not touching it. In reality, it has to be done. In reality, it has been so you will not be creating everything, it will be done by the financial team. We are not doing what happens the skeleton financial structure only. So click on plus no one. No, no. So go there. I don't go there. There's an expense account. There's an expense account fine. Go there. So make it as what expense. Make it as an expense. So go there. Click on plus no point. I will not go in the next one. Go there. 1003. Fine. It is the owner's equity actually. Owner's equity is over. Start date is also not required, sir. Which are not required. Nothing is required. Nothing is mandatory, actually. So we can give all those things fine. Remaining ones in the financial training, they will not teach you about each and every field, actually. Do not make the summary as yes, it will not work at all. If the summary is yes, these accounts will not work at all. Remember, fine. It has to be no only. Fine. That is why I told you that don't touch any other field. Fine. You put the value description and then account type only, you do it. Don't touch any other field. So click on save and close. So we now completed what happens there. Giving the values for the value set. So click on save and close. We are now given the values for the value set. So go there. Keep a save and close. Now. So you are having a save and close. Click on save and close. That's it. Not done. So we are done it. Now we are now going to create our ledger actually. Find the primary ledger is on. So if you go there and see it now, fine. Go there. So we are in the process of what? If you go there and then have a look at it. Now. Click on. Zero, 0103 is there now. Fine. Zero three. Not there. I will not go there and then do it now. So go to the place and then open it up and then go there in the zero three. So in the zero three, what happens if you see? We are now completed the legal entity creation. We are now going to go for the ledger creation. The COA is also created. We are now done the COA creation, the legal entity creation. Now we are in the process of creating the ledger actually. So now gradually the structure is now getting created. The ledger is not going to be created. Watch. Go there. So this is the one. Fine. Go to the manage primary ledger. Fine. Go there. Go there. Now go to the task. Go there. Go there. So go there. We are now creating the ledger. We are now setting up the system with the application implementation consultant role. Now. Fine. So setting up the system can be done with that role. Fine. Click on it. Now. Fine. Manage primary ledger. So click on plus now. Fine. Go there. So the ledger has got four C's actually. Go there. C01 underscore. You can also primary underscore ledger. Go there. Go there. So go the take of it and put in the description of it. The description. And then chart of accounts, you drop it down. And then here I will not say T. If you put T, what happens? You know, see, fortunately it is available. Otherwise, if it doesn't come, then what happens? I have to create another sort of accounts with a 001 nana COA. Because 001 will be coming on the top, actually. <laughs> I don't make it. So fortunately, it is coming. If you are not getting it in the list of values, fine. Do not choose the what happens the X, Y, Z and all, fine. Choose something on ABC. So what happens, you will be getting a prefix, fine. Somewhere in ABC means what? It will be coming in the beginning itself. 
fortunately it is coming you can call it accounting can drop down i will not choose what trust t i will not choose my my trust t it is coming fine brother currency is what usd and the accounting method is what standard accrual fine this is the best one i'm going to choose it so we have chosen these four c's actually <clears throat> you know that thank god so uh, then the thank god so go there click on it and then click on save and close by which what happened the ledger is now getting created actually. any doubts on this one so click on save and close by which what happened the ledger creation is now complete now go there go to the next step next is what specify ledger options right 20th step is what specify ledger options if you go and then take this as a task and go there and then paste it on this place paste it on this place and then enter now so go there i have not delete the extra spaces actually and enter so if you go to the specify ledger options and then click on the hyperlink of it now fine click on it if you go there what happens your ledger will not come so some switzerland the primary ledger is coming so you have to do the specify ledger options on your ledger t01 ledger so somebody else is coming so this is not correct at all that means what this task is a scope specific task <clears throat> scope specific task should not be executed from the generic area this is a task generic area from there whatever the, you should not execute the scope specific task and click on done now we come to the main area this is a fsm main area fine from here only i'll do it so drop down and then choose the area set up area as what financials fine set up must be made as financials and then here what happens i have to go on and put this task name fine the same task name manage primary ledger and not specify ledger of because this is a scope specific one and then you should not execute it you execute this now fine manage primary ledger is an fs on fine i will not take a copy of it now fine manage primary ledger fine go there i will not put the task name over here and then enter it now <clears throat> so remember on the left hand side you have to choose financials and then here in the search task you put the manage primary ledger fine go there enter it now so once when you enter it what happens it will make coming all these things will be coming so know that here what happens we have to choose the specify ledger options it is scope specific now so in this one what happens will be there so before you click on that one what happens the right hand side you go to the scope and then select the scope so click on the select scope of it now fine click on the select scope of it and click on select scope and then go there drop it down and then go to select and add primary ledger drop it down to select and click on apply and go to task click on apply and go to task what happens you go there so here this is the query mode actually so if you see this what happens the query mode fine if you click on it what happens the query will go away now if you want to have a query what happens it is called query be example fine entry the line will be coming now. so here in this one you write your query and go there so we can even write a multiple query on multiple fields actually and then give a enter so give enter what happens it will be executed now the query is executed and then resulted in one only one record so go to the left hand side and then select it fine you keep your cursor on the left hand side and select it and then click on save and close fine give a save and close so once you give a save and close what happens you will now see the specify ledger options task is coming for your ledger actually so this task is scope specific the scope has to be selected and then afterwards only come over here now anybody can say yes to me you are not sure you should not be run from the generic area of search task generic area of search you should not execute it but from the fsm area fine you have to run the manage primary ledger from that you go to the specific ledger specific ledger options scope now anybody can say yes to me yes sir yes ma'am okay. yes sir yes sir good so go down fine here only two entries has to be done by the supply chain team now i was executing it what happens i have done it now fine drop down if what happens if financials is not what happens licensed we only have supply chain being licensed and then the finance is licensed from sap so the customer has purchased the finance from sap then what happens you have to do only this thing otherwise you will not be allowed to touch this screen at all finance only will do it now so drop down the company right drop down the company and then choose the first one and then department it drop down and then choose the marketing now so company choose it right, as a 10th one now and then do the accounting is what 1000 choose it. and then click on okay now so we are now chosen the what happens the, the retained earnings now <clears throat> the retained earnings now one is not man and the journal language is the mandatory one so only two are mandatory here now i know the retained earnings and non journal fine drop down and then two are the only mandatory fine whether so go down and then choose us us english american english the remaining if you know you touch it like what happens if you go there you if you know the journal processing fine go there if you go and then average balancing sequencing and all fine if you know it you do it otherwise don't touch it raw it is not our cup of tea fine if you are implementing pure procurement this much is sufficient for a specify ledger options remember one retained earnings and then one journal language fine click on save and close now otherwise finance will now do everything 
If finance is doing it, what happens? They will not even allow you to touch it off. You will not wait. So click on save and close on the right hand side by which what happens? The specify ledger options, which is a scope specific task, is now completed. Got it now, fine. From the FSM area, you have to choose financials and then query for the manage primary ledger. You will not get a list of tasks now. On this one, what happens? The third task is specify ledger options for which you choose the scope first. And then afterwards, go to If you choose the scope, the task gets automatically executed. After the scope is selected, the task gets auto executed actually. Next is what? Next is what? Assign legal entities. Fine. The ledger legal entity has to be assigned actually. Go there, click on it. So the ledger and then LE, fine. So ledger and then LE, we are going to what happens? Make a link actually. Ledger LE, make, link is going to be made actually. We are going to make the link. All right, go there. So assign legal entities now. Go there. So go there. We'll go to the place now. <coughs> so we have done the third stop. Then we are going to go to the second one now. Again, what happens? This is a scope specific one. And then the scope is already selected. If you are seeing some other scope, you have to click again and then choose your scope now. If the scope is somebody else now, fine, you have to choose it. Otherwise, since ours is there, we can directly go to this now. As in legal entities, we can directly go because the scope is already previous step only. We have done it. And so what happens? It has now done all the selection actually. And so what happens? You can now go on and go to the assign legal entities directly. Fine, click on the assign legal entities. Fine, go back. Come on, assign legal entities. I'm going to go. So you can see on this one, my ledger, my ledger is coming. For which what happens? I'm going to add the LE now. Ledger LE combination I'm going to do now. So there is a small plus here now. So click on the plus now. Fine, click on the plus <clears throat> and then go there. I will not query mine now. Fine, three zero one is the one. I go there and then click on search now. Fine, go there. I'm not searching for it. You know, the left hand side, go there, select it. Now. Select it from the left hand side. Click on apply and then click on done. By which what happens? The ledger LE association is now complete. Now. Got it now. Fine. The ledger LE association is complete. Remember the scope specific task and then you know it ensures that your ledger is coming there or not. On the right hand side, what happens? Give a save and close by which what happens? This activity is now complete. So we have completed what? Specific ledger options. The third one. The second one is assign legal entities. We'll now go for the next one. Next one is what? We have to give the balancing segments to LE now. So on which which uh, what happens? The balancing segment. You are going to create the profit and loss statement and and, uh, and then what happens? Pay taxes to the government. In fact, what happens for everything you have to do, but for training, <coughs> we'll use only one now. <coughs> so go there. So the next one is what? The third one, the second one, and then the fourth one. This is the order now. First the third, then the second, then the fourth we have to do now. And then on the fourth also, what happens? The scope is already selected. Fine. Click on the assigned balancing segment values now. Click on the assigned balancing segment and go there. I will not add only one now. Click on plus now. Fine. Let me add only one. In reality, what happens? We had to add everything now. So because we have to create the profit and loss for every company actually. Reliance Petro, Reliance Chemical, Petro, Petro Chemical Power, everything you have to do. Right? But for our training purposes, we are going to use only 10 now. And no, 11 we are not going to use at all in our transactions. So add all the balancing segments over here now. Whichever, whichever company you are having it, fine for whichever, whatever. So we are now adding the balancing segments to LE now. Assigning balancing segments to LE. My God. Got it now, fine. Third one, second one, and then the fourth task. When you query on manage primary ledger. Fine, click on seven close menu. Query on manage primary. So first one is what? If you go, go to the top, now fine, remember. First to third, then the second, and then the fourth now. <clears throat> now, the final activity on the skeleton financial structure is coming up now. And then the final activity. That's called review and then submit. The 23rd sum is the final activity. But this now completes the skeleton financial structure. Now. So here, what happens if you go down, you can see the board. Slightly go down. You will now find what happens. One review and then submit with the scope. It is a scope. So there is one more review without a scope now. Fine. Don't use it now. <clears throat> review with a scope. Fine. It is already selected. Fine. Click on the review and then submit accounting configuration. So with which what happens? It is now getting completed. But what happens? There are so many other things are required. But this may even fail actually. <clears throat> so click on the review accounting. Review and then submit accounting configuration. So you can now show you the primary ledger. And all these things will not show you. Fine. A tick mark is coming. And click on submit now. So once when you submit it, what happens? It will now do the final setup. So it now set up fine. Yeah, yeah, what happens? The create accounting configuration process is now has been submitted. Fine, it is now ending and the ESS job is ending on 688. Fine, go there, click on OK now. I will not go there. Go to the top, fine. Right click on the duplicate now. Fine. Right click on the duplicate. So here I will now go on and have a look at the ESS job now. Fine. Go to the list and then go to the schedule process. Fine. On schedule process. Now it's running. <clears throat> there are three concurrents which will be running actually. Fine. Now one and two are running, one more running. So even if it fails, it doesn't matter actually. Because we are not going to push anything into the financials for our training actually. We will now be will now be what happens doing our activity and then we will now leave it as such. 
So, but if it is failing, then whatever the some more setups are required from finance. But it doesn't matter. Review and then submit failure is not a problem at all for us, no right? Mm -hmm. So once when all the three concurrence are completed, whatever we go there, I will not right click and then duplicate now. Fine, right click and duplicate. I will not go to the manage primary legit task. So click on it. I will not go to the FSM area setup and maintenance. And then from there, what happens? I will not go to the generic task list. And then open up what? Manage primary legit. No, fine. I will not take a copy of it. I will not go to the place. Fine. So go to the task, generic area. Fine. Click on search. I am not coming to the generic area. Fine. Go there. Paste it now. Fine. Enter it now. And then click on the hyperlink and then query your legit. Now. And D01 is the one. Fine. T01. And then enter now. And you will now find a green tick coming up. If it is coming excellent, fine. If it doesn't come, if it fails also, it doesn't matter. Because our ledger has to have the chart of accounts and then the accounting calendar and the currency. Fine. These three things must be very proper. And then the other associations of what a LE ledger association and then the balancing segment, if they are completed, that is more than sufficient for procurement. Because this green tick mark will come only when uh, more setups are required in some place because financials is also working on these instances. Now, fine. So uh, if that is not done, what happens? It may even fail. Review and then submit may fail. It doesn't matter. So with which we have completed that. What happens? Skilled and financial structure actually. And tomorrow we are going to begin our supply chain setups. So go there. You know, what happens? Only two concurrents are running. Afterwards, what happens? You know, waiting. And afterwards, what happens? No concurrent will run. So we had to wait for everything to complete. And then finally, on this place, when all of them are succeeded, then you will now get a green tick. <clears throat> if you're getting a green tick, is like really lucky actually. But it doesn't matter. Even if you don't get a green tick, what happens? It doesn't matter. But the balance things, you should not make a mistake at all. <clears throat> if you make a mistake, any of the balance, what happens, it will be very difficult. Tomorrow onwards, what happens, the, the real tough part is going to begin now. Fine. Our supply chain setups are going to begin now. No, no, this is the main financial setups, right? Yeah, this main financial setup. structure. Is the main financial setup. The two other ones that we have done, only a skilled and setup now, right? Not everything. The skilled and setup of financials is now complete, actually. Any doubts on this now? I will be uploading it in about 15 minutes time. Right? All the three records. Thank you, Nana. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Nana. Thank and then we'll know, Thanks, tomorrow, Nana. and then we'll know do the real tough part now. Right? The supply chain thank setup would begin now. Thank you, Nana. Thank you so much, Nana. Thank, thank, you. thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you Nana. Thank you, Nana. Good night. Thank you, Nana. Thank, 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 thank you, thank you. Bye. I'm not going to end the meeting now. Nana, one, yeah. one question. Tell me. Like manage structure and manage structure instance, uh, what yeah. I means any difference? What? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, structure can have n number of instances actually. Okay. As Satish was saying, now fine. You are having a Philippines yeah. structure instance and then India structure instance. Likewise, what happens? You can very well have it. Again, when you talk to financials, they will now give you a very big understanding of this right? structure of structure instances. And if you are succeeding on what happens on getting the 17th step, fine deployment, and please post. If your okay. QA is deployed, everybody will now use yours actually. Because succeeding on the deployment is very, very difficult. If you are succeeding it, please post. <coughs> we will all use yours actually. Okay, sure. Yeah, thank you so much. 70 yeah, deployed, fine. If your CO is deployed, please post. Sure, thank you. Uh, end the meeting and then we'll all meet tomorrow at 6 p.m. Thank okay. you, sir. Yeah, bye, bye. Thank bye. you. Bye.